What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the weakest rook you've ever seen in your life. And we have a fully maxed rook with legendary pilot, maximum health and craziness. No one can ever kill us, ever. Okay? But we're not dealing damage. And I leave it up to you to think and consider what type of level weapon we have. We're running in this setup because I thought the rook is so ridiculous it can make everything work. Um, uh, we're using Retaliator and Vengeance, um, and I leave it up to you to think what level these weapons are, okay? I'm not going to give away the level. I'm just gonna show these guys my shields and do the old Rook thing and not take any damage from them, no matter what over sick, ridiculous amount of firepower they bring. Um, and uh, you guys tell me over the course of this video, because I can hear you when you talk now, yeah, yeah? Yeah, that's right, hi, hi. Um, yeah, you will tell me what level this is that we're running. Here, his physical shoots are down, we're dealing full direct damage. But he's actually filling his health in the meantime. Like, what? Wait a minute. I was dealing damage to you and all your physical shoots were deleted. But you gain health. Okay. Well, he had a Nodens behind him, I guess. Yeah, he had a Nodens buddy there that would healing him up. Okay, so, now there's a Luchador. His reflector is not being used. So he's- oh, now he's using the reflector. Okay, he wasn't using it at first, now he's using it. He's shooting me with the sonic weapons, but I have my physical shield still up. I can tank through it, and then pop the shields, get fresh ones. Um, now I'm suppressed, which is okay, because I'm reloading anyways. My shoots are freshly back now, and I can jump somewhere. Underneath me is a little guy that I'm squishing with my shockwave. Pop, there he goes. And there's the Nodens, we're doing direct damage to him. Nice. And he is actually taking some damage, cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's taking damage, that's great. Now I have to stop firing because I'm getting attacked by the enemy Veyrons again. Uh, I pop the shields one more time, and get fresh ones, and jump up and fly away. So I'm target uh, blinded. That is perfect, because that means I can jump anywhere I want. Remember, the Rook will always jump on the thing that you target. But when you're blinded, you cannot target anything, and you can make the widest jumps. In that case, <laughs> the, the blinding was so useful for me, because I wanted to jump away. Now here, do you see? This guy, he was in his reflector now, and I'm already accelerating my firepower to maximum damage output, and uh, three people are shooting him, and I believe the regular robots under the bridge actually did way more damage than we did. <laughs> Which is considering that we're a titan weapons, we are using titan weapons here, a little surprising, to say the least, but hey, hey, maybe Manny just put a level 1 weapon there, who knows? So, again, you guys tell me what level we're running. What level of weapons do you think we're using here? How much damage output are we doing? Uh, so the links went down. This guy's getting shot by everybody. Of course, we're not scoring kills because our damage output is just too small for that. Um, but there's a Rook with sonic weapons. So I pop myself from fresh shields and, uh, and then I shoot over the cover. Because remember, uh, projectile weapons such as these deal double damage to physical shields. So while the damage output isn't that good, we do double damage versus the physical shields, therefore effectively dropping at least the middle shield that he's using to face us a little faster. But I'm jumping away again because I re I'm reloading and I need to take it slow, right? So we're gonna get blinded now, unfortunately, not much we can do. I keep my fire state, pop, 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 I fire every few seconds. And then we're, we may, we're opening fire again. It takes about 10 seconds just to drop the yellow shield on the guy. This is fully, full, fully amplified damage output, like with, with, with maximum acceleration. Look at his yellow shield. And I'm not even the only one shooting him. His yellow shield barely depletes. A shotgun weapon such as Mahavara and, uh, and such, they would shoot one shot and the shield would be half done. Another shot, shot and the rest of the shield is, is, is finished, you know? These weapons here, you fire 10 seconds straight and you still haven't dropped the shield. So, I, um... Do you, do you see this? He's reflecting and I'm pushing him away. Is this, is this interesting? Uh, I have never seen something that can move a stationary luchador when he's using his reflector. I think that the, uh, the Rook Titan with his, like, uh, shockwaves he's producing is the only thing capable of moving a, a stationary luchador. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I think a Minos with his charge ability cannot move a Luchador when he's uh, using his Reflector. I think. Um, so yeah, we're through his shield, we're dealing full damage to him. 
of course, he's still gaining health. Because, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my weapons heal the enemy. Yeah, maybe we're healing the enemy. Maybe I understood something wrong about the stats. Maybe this is a healing weapon uh, for enemies. It could be. <laughs> Tell me how, what level this is. So we're finally through the yellow shield. His physical shield is broken and you see clearly we're dealing a lot of damage. So much damage. Then we're doing the old Rook around. And he's suppressed. And when he comes out of the suppression, he's going to continue fighting. And I pop my shields fresh in. Getting fresh shield and... The thing begins again from fresh. He's dropping all my shields. He did almost no damage to me. Uh, and uh, he's now reloading his weapons and getting increasingly upset by the fact that there is simply no way to deal damage to me. Uh, I Meanwhile, by the way, I have the same amount of health as I had when I started this Titan due to the double durability extender on the battleship. Um, yeah, so... Uh, we haven't actually lost a single hit point from the beginning of the match. Although now it shows we have only half HP. So Rook goes down because what did he do? His, ma his mistake was attacking me. I'm a Rook. I'm one of these overpowered lame things that you simply cannot destroy. Not even with the Sonic Titan weapons. Not even the unlimited firepower of those weapons have and has enough firepower to deal with me here. And so he made the mistake of focusing me. He thought he could just kill me. Because he understood that most of the enemies he encounters, even Rooks, he can destroy. But I'm using that physical shield. I really force him to de deplete every single shield before he can start dealing damage. And when that happens, he is out of ammo. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so if he had fired at the teammates, he would have probably got some good kills. And I could have really not have killed him. Um, so, here. 8.6 million damage is not bad. But considering the match ended on a timer. Time ran out. You see it here. So that was a full 10 minute long match, and I have used the entire time to deal damage. If this had been a Veyron uh, setup with the Sonic Titan weapons, you can probably double the damage output. Um, but um, Vengeance Retaliator, you've seen the damage output is marginal at best. We're in the next situation. This guy already had his flight, so I'm catching him off flight and dealing a ridiculous amount of damage to him. Um, no, actually we did, we did some okay damage. But I'm guessing it wasn't a fully max movement, and I'm also guessing that, um, yeah, no, I know he had no, uh, no his ability, didn't have it, so I was able to deal real damage to him. And very close range, every bullet hit, and uh, yeah, not maxed. So, that being said, that thing went down, though. It went down. So, now there is uh, other things we can shoot. At 500 meters, which is the maximum range, uh, the damage output is very, very little, because we're missing a lot of shots. And um, if I wanted to make a video showing you the pros and cons, the pros list on this weapon, I'm not even sure if there's any pro, actually, to be honest. The cons list is extremely long. You take an incredibly long time to deal your damage, where some other weapons like Tsar, boom, 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 big damage done in one hit. Not much chance for the enemy to avoid that damage, to get back in cover, and so on. These weapons here take forever to deal damage, yeah? Even that takes a long time. Then the damage is marginal at best. Then the reload time is incredibly long, un unjustifiably long, seriously. There is no reason, given this damage output that we do and how long we take to deliver that damage, that the reload is also long. There is absolutely zero reason for that. The reload should be incredibly short given how poorly the weapon performs in its fast firing state. That's three really big cons. You, then you have a spread of the weapon. The weapon spreads its shots. You're not close, you miss your shots. So that little firepower you do gets even reduced at distance. Which is another pro, uh, con right there. Next con, you start your damage output with lower damage DPM because you first have to accelerate the weapon to a high firing state before it really starts dealing damage. Meaning you're gonna have to waste shots of your magazine shooting into the corner, into the wall in front of you, walking out and, and engaging your enemy with full firepower already. Right? So a fifth con. Um, so, uh, uh, and, and, and you can counter these last twos by using pilot skills, which you kind of have to do. You, you, you need to use two pilot skills to make these weapons work. Uh, which is an incredibly incredible disadvantage compared to weapons like Veyron uh, that that don't need uh, any pilot skills to operate it at full fun cap capability or cap capacity, right? And then perform 10 times better on top because it's a newer weapon. So um, inc 
incredible. These two cons with the pilot skills, they weigh in so much. Because also remember, we have two different weapons here. Pixonic, for whatever reason, has never made it so that you can choose one pilot skill to cover the weakness of all of those here. Look, I was unloading everything I had on this guy. It's a Seraph robot and I'm only 260 meters away. I can barely put a dent into him. Like, I'm dropping him by half. And rightfully so, I'm angry shaking the camera thinking, how in the world is this even a Titan weapon? Asking you again, is it level 1 maybe? <laughs> Um, yeah, and uh, what I was gonna say, uh, keep in mind we're running two different weapons. Retaliator is a different weapon than Vengeance. So if you want to have the high firing capacity faster with the accelerated uh, pilot skill, and the uh, reducing spread with the sharpshooter of the pilot skill, you will need to use four pilot skills to do so on, on a robot that reutilizes both type of weapons. Which is unacceptable, you will never occupy four important pilot skills for something this 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 marginal or useless we're fighting him together two two enemies fighting this rook to get him down uh man that's crazy and uh, without without him i would have never killed that rook never i would have never been able to kill him and he would have uh, been able to do damage to me probably eventually after some time so uh yeah, the, the cons just never stop. There's like an unlimited amount of cons in this weapon. And I understand that Pixonic would say this is kind of a starting weapon. It's not supposed to be used in the top end meta Champions League gameplay, right? It's not supposed to be an option against the more up to date things. But at the same time, it's a Titan weapon. And it performs much less than many, many regular medium robot weapons do and requiring two pilot skills to simply become operational uh, this is just an unacceptable state of this weapon it is at this this is really unacceptable the same goes for tempest right for robots the same also goes for uh yeah all all these kind of projectile weapons punishers probably too uh but they those are titan weapons and they should feel like titan weapons um but they really don't the damage output only starts as soon as other guys come in to help. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's really, it, it would be required for Pixonic to, to do something with this. Um, I, I don't think that these weapons should even, they should perform like they do with the max pilot skills without using pilot skills. It can't be that you use like on a robot like this, you need to use four pilot skills to get the weapons in an operational state. That is an unacceptable thing. So that entire pilot skill madness to make those weapons work, it, it, it's, it's really nonsense. It needs to go away. Uh, the weapons should get this incorporated into the weapon himself. And even then, you still need to tweak the reload. Because how, given how long it takes to deliver damage, how many of your shots... Look at this. I mean, I'm shooting this guy. I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm missing most of my shots, even though I'm perfectly locked on to him. And what little hit, shots hit him deal no damage because the weapon simply doesn't do any damage per, per, per bullet, any meaningful amount, you know? And so uh, there's a lot of tweaking that needs to be done to make this weapon just work. I'm not saying to get this weapon into a meta state readiness, but just to make it work. Uh, but I think it should be done because the weapon exists in the game and it should have its reason to exist, not just as a placeholder for a new Titan, um, because uh, the way it's right now, you may as well just sell your Titans without any weapons attached to them, because nobody would ever want to use uh, uh, these things at, at all. Um, yeah, so make make them at least in some way useful. Make them work. That would be what I'm asking for. Other than that, I like the style of the weapon. I love how it feels to fire them. I like the fact that they deal double damage against physical shield, which in a time of rooks makes sense, you know? So the weapon could have its use, and, and, it, and I love the style of it. I love the sound of it, and you, Pixonic did a great job designing the weapon when it, when it doesn't come to stats. Just the weapon itself is well designed, and I lo love it, and it's great. And I think in terms of um, like projectile speed and all this, it doesn't need to be changed. It just We just need to tweak the stats a bit so that we can use this weapon a little more, right? Um, we could try three of those fully maxed on a Sharenga. Of course, it will do more damage. Um, also, because we can use only two pilot skills to make all three weapons work with them. But still, two pilot skills... You know, really, they could be used in many different ways that are better than than this. 
Um, and other weapons don't even need to think about any pilot skills to perform perfectly well, you know? Um, so yeah, I think if Pixonic sees this video, it would be great if you could at least bring it in and consider uh, when you meet next time on your big tables <laughs> uh, to maybe bring in a bit of a, a, of a, of a buff and really think about the pilot skills. When you think about, about the weapon and its performance in the game, please consider the, the, the need for the pilot skills and how much this means and how much this makes the weapon useless that you need, for example, four pilot skills on a mixed setup like this to make them work. Um, yeah, so that would be, would be great. Always looking out for Warobots here. I am starting to do stuff with Armored Core next to Warobots, but I'm also having my heart still in Warobots and I still love the game and I'm still looking out for its health and I and I feel like the health of the game, the, the game would be more fun if the if these weapons would be would be in somewhat somewhat useful, right? <laughs> so yeah, for now that's it, ladies and gents. Hopefully you had a fun time. Don't forget we have a giveaway going on of 200 brand new flying Ares robots called Orpheons. Um Yeah, check it out in the top right if you haven't yet and uh, participated. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next video. Um, oh yeah, ready for the reveal. Right, I forgot. Ready for the reveal of the level of the weapon. I asked you what level is it. I'm gonna show you, of course. It is fully maxed. Fully maxed retaliators, level 25 um, gray white weapons, which already signifies that they're weak and trashy. But I think weak and starting weapon doesn't need to mean useless, right? It should mean it's not as as powerful as the meta weapons are, and you will feel that there is a difference, you will feel that you have a bit of a harder time against those who run more up-to-date weapons, but the way it's right now, I mean, did you guess that it was level 25 from your subjective feeling? Just seeing how the weapon performed? Um, to me, it seemed like it was level 1. Seriously. To me, it, it looked like if I had seen the gameplay and nobody had said anything and uh, there wasn't any any swinging atmosphere already telling me something, I would have probably guessed these, those are level 1 weapons because that's just what it looked like. And I believe that feeling, and I think you will probably see it similar to that, that says probably everything we need to know about the performance of this weapon. So yeah, that was a different approach showing you the setup last. Always a little tricky thing up my sleeve. So thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.